Hi everybody, Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. I am um, working on my Valentine soaps. Valentine's Day is the next holiday. So even though it isn't even Christmas yet, um, you know, soapers have to plan in advance. So, that's what I'm doing. That was just my lye and silk solution. Get that blended up and then add my um what is this sodium lactate good heavens brain fart sodium lactate is a natural ingredient it's not a chemical but it adds to the hardness of the bar As to the lather, and this is cream. all of this mixed in. I don't know. All I've decided so far are my colors. I am doing pink, if you can see that, and red, and then white. This is um, a fresh rose fragrance. It smells, I was going to hold it up to the camera so you could smell it, but that's not going to work. Um, Sorry. Okay. Anyway, it smells like fresh cut roses. I looked for a long time for a fragrance that was a true rose fragrance. And um, I don't like floral, whoops, floral scents. I like this one a lot. It does, to me, it smells like a fresh rose. I really like it. I think I'm going to do, hmm, I was thinking about a drop swirl. Maybe I'll do a spoon swirl. I don't know. I have two other batches I'm going to do tonight. Both um, Valentine's scents. My husband was behind the camera, but the kids um, started screaming, <laughs> and babies are napping, so he went to investigate, and I'm, we haven't recorded with this camera yet. Um, we have multiple cameras. I do photography on the side, and uh, the other camera that I was using, I didn't like the sound quality, and the one that I usually use, the battery is dead, so we don't know if this one is going to turn off at 10 minutes or not. We're going to find out. Let me leave that open. So I'll pour some into my red. And into the pink. Oh, pretty pink. Mm, I'm just trying to decide. to do. This smells really good. This is my titanium dioxide. Hopefully it's enough. 
I usually have some pre-mixed, um, and I don't, I'm out, and I should have made more, but I didn't. Not quite as white as I want, but I'm going to go with it because I don't want any crackling. I've been having a problem with that lately, and I cannot figure out why. I think I finally figured out the problem, though. Thick. It's not supposed to, but it is. And me blending the crud out of it isn't going to help. So, this might be perfect for a spoon swirl. Look at how oh it's like pudding. Yeah. Boom swirl it is. Just try to scrape as much out as I can. And rinse this off really fast. I said I've got a couple of other batches. To do tonight. Let me wipe down my table. Let's see what color do I want to start with. How about red? So the smack the crud out of that, because air bubbles. Now I'm going to plop in some white. Oops, I was going to try to do it neatly. I guess it doesn't matter that much since I'm going to do a spoon swirl anyway. I don't know why I'm reaching. Am I in the camera? Uh, you need to cheat toward the top of the table just a little bit. Okay. There we go. Okay. We played with the tripod too, and I was trying to get the camera up higher. Make it easier to see. Doesn't have to be perfect, but oops, I didn't mean to do that. I just scooped out some of the red. I just want a layer, a little layer, so that I don't break through when I do that. Boy, it's just getting thick. Like spoon and yogurt. Oh uh, yeah. It's not supposed to accelerate at all, and I didn't think I used the stick blender too much. Maybe I did. I 
don't think I did though. I don't know. Oh well. It's not a big deal. It's not like I had a big plan or something. And this will work just fine with the spoon swirl as long as I quit messing up the layers. more white or just go back to the red? I think I'll just go back to the red. Which is like setting up like crazy. This is really kind of as thick as it gets for me, though, usually. I've been pretty lucky I haven't had any huge Caesars. I've had, I've had a couple. Um, I remember several months back, I had one that just ended up soap on the stick. And it was literally all I could do to plop it in the mold and then even that I ended up not being able to do toward the end. So I'm going to pour and save some for the top. I'm going to have to write a review for this one. Are they looking for Waldo? They are. I just heard a bunch of girls go, They found Waldo! I found Waldo! I found all of the original Waldo books a few weeks ago, and they love them. They're supposed to be doing chores. They've been playing all day, all weekend, really. But, you know, Waldo was more fun than chores. air bubbles in this, I can see them. Is it still recording? Yep. So it must not have a timer. Nope. I'm sure we're over. Oh, I, I don't know how long we've been recording, but it's been over 10 minutes for sure. Yeah. Well, that's good, because that's such a pain when the camera turns off, especially when I'm by myself. Because all I hear is click, and several minutes have gone by. Alright. That's interesting. Don't you see me do this before? Well, yeah, I'm just, the way the colors are coming out is the interest. What I'm seeing is interesting. It's really thick, so it's just scooping up. I mean, 
I, I feel like I'm digging through pudding. Go the other way. Everybody has their own way of doing this. I've seen people scoop and plop on the top and swirl directly through the middle and I just kind of do a big loop. See that I'm moving the camera a lot. It's alright. I just I might be making people dizzy. All right, now for the top. I've been doing flat tops lately, and I think I really like the flat tops rather than the high peak. So I believe this one is going to be. We'll see, but I'm thinking it's going to be a flat top. Oh, I should have done the white first. I think I have more white. Maybe I will now. So if I had done some planning ahead, then I could have just done a white top and added color to it. Here it is. I think it's actually, I have two, but I'm missing one. I think I have one over there. You know, behind me on the um, white table. Okay. Are we back on? Yep. Well, apparently this camera has a timer too. We had no idea it turned off and it didn't click or anything. So, I don't know when we lost you. I don't think it was very long because it was recording when I stepped away. When I came back, the screen was off, so not more than a oh, few there seconds. You go. I haven't done anything earth shattering anyway. I'm just scraping out the bowls. Adding color. Hey, you know what you could do? You could look up six weeks from today for me. January 26th. Oh, you're so good. So I cure all of my soaps for six weeks. Um, really, you can use them after four. But I, I just I don't think it hurts to wait an extra two weeks. I think um, soap is like wine and it gets better with time. Um... <clears throat> Really, in a couple of days, I could use this. It's just not going to last me at all. Okay. What do you think of that? Do you like that better than the peaks? Actually, in this case, I do. Kind of looks like little hearts. Oh, hey, yeah. I'm not talented enough to make little hearts, but I'll take that. I don't want to fiddle too much. Let's call that good. How's that? Whoa. And of course, glitter, especially on this one. Yeah, 
And again, I mean, this is definitely going to be a feminine smell, but the glitter doesn't stick to your body. It's just decoration. But there you have uh, my first Valentine's soap. Smells like fresh roses. And this will be cured and ready when? January 26th. January 26th, 2014. And it will be available for pre-order at StargazerSoaps.com. Um, don't turn off the video because I'm going to attach the cutting video for you here at the end. Okay, so here is my Fresh Roses soap. Um, I'm going to call this May Rope. And this is um, it's named for a star. And the star actually is um, the Greek mythology behind the name of the star. She was Orion's love. But it was a love that could never be. He was madly in love with her. Uh, but she did not return the love. And she ended up marrying a mortal. She was a Greek goddess. So, since the star, the myth behind the star, centers around love, and I thought this soap was pretty valentine-y. Um, it smells like fresh roses. I mean, it really does. It smells like a bouquet of roses. I thought the name was appropriate. I hope you can see this okay. The lighting is poor. Uh, it's about, I don't know, 10.30 here, I think. But it looks... I don't know if that's... That's not even in the camera. I put it in the light. But it looks really cool. Oh, I like the back of this one. So again, bigger bars. And this will be cured January 26th. And I'll get it cleaned and posted. Um, Christmas is next week, and we've just been crazy, crazy uh, busy around here. So I don't know if I'm going to get this listed uh, in the next week or not. I'd like to get them listed within the week of cutting them, but this is just, we've got just a lot going on. So it might take a, a back burner. For a little bit, but here's the last one. So again, this is May Rope. It is. Um, it smells like a fresh rose bouquet, and it is not a perfumey or fake, fake rose smell at all. It smells just like a rose garden. Um, again, January 26th at StargazerSoaps.com. Thanks for watching.